Hello, everyone. Dr. Nathan Bryan here. Again, thanks for your support. Thanks for the questions that come in. We'll start doing weekly updates on frequently asked questions because as more people start to adopt our product technology, we get constant feedback. And that's really one of the greatest sources of satisfaction that we, we hear from people who use our products. We've changed their lives. They see the benefit of it. But lots of questions coming in regarding product formulation, what's in the lozenge, what does it do, what, what it doesn't do. And so one of the common questions we get when people look at the label. So let me first by saying that I'm the only person, the first and only person that's made a solid dose form of nitric oxide gas, a solid form of a gas. It's never been done before. In order to do that, there are certain ingredients that we have to put in this orally disintegrating tablet. Because the basis for this product design is we wanted to release a certain amount of nitric oxide, a specified amount of nitric oxide over a certain period of time. They could recapitulate nitric oxide production and nitric oxide signaling in the human body. So that's not easily done. We have to design a, a tablet that dissolves over a certain period of time that makes a compressible tablet. And this requires certain things like binders and lubricants and excipients that basically create a certain dissolution rate where we can get predictability in the dissolution rate over five to six minutes. So we have to use things like mannitol, uh, vegetable stearate, magnesium stearate, and things like uh, other ingredients and binders in there. And I realize that some people don't like this. They read the labels because they've read in the literature, had some experience with these that cause some gastric discomfort, or they may develop a, a, an allergy to it. So number one, you don't develop allergies to these. Probably if you consume them at really high levels, you will. But just understand that the amounts of these ingredients that we put in this tablet, and we're constantly looking for replacements, but to date we haven't found a replacement for the mag stearate, the mannitol, that will not interfere with the nitric oxide release or maintain this certain dissolution rate. So there are certain things that we do better than anybody else in the world, and that's produce a nitric oxide releasing tablet. And as we, until we find uh, good solutions or good replacements for these things like mannitol and the vegetable stearate, we have to put them in there because we're releasing nitric oxide. And as you'll hear me say with anything, it's risk versus benefit. The benefits of the nitric oxide releasing lozenge far outweigh any potential or perceived risk from really low dose, low amounts of mannitol or the mag stearate. So I hope that provides some clarity. But again, we produce a solid dose form of nitric oxide gas. There's certain ingredients that are required for us to do this, but at the doses that we're delivering, the amounts of each of those, it does not cause a problem. We have not seen a problem in over 15 years of any of the product technology that I've been uh, involved in developing. So I hope you'll continue to, to get the benefits of the nitric oxide releasing lozenge. If you don't like that, our NO Beats is a product. It's a clean powder. We don't put it in a, in a tablet, so it's, it doesn't have a lot of these excipients. It still releases nitric oxide when you put it in solution. So we're providing uh, choices for you, alternatives. The nitric oxide lozenge is your daily nitric oxide support. The beet powder, the NO beads can be used in, 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 in combination with the lozenge or in replacement of the lozenge. We leave that to you. Both generate nitric oxide. So keep the questions coming and we'll provide answers.